Okay, so here's a quick rundown of the new features that we just updated. First of all, we have frames per second controls, so we can now freely adjust those. And then there's a bunch of new stuff in the layer menu. You have now opacity for layers and you can hide them if you need to. Um, and we have mesh import. So you click there and you can pick from your meshes. Uh, the meshes you just throw into the models folder in documents, my documents, and then you can open those. Uh, when you import a mesh, there's this little button here, it resets the scale uh, to the stages transform. So if I do this, I'm actually in this room, life size. Uh, I'm going to stay down the stage a little bit. And I'm going to make a new layer and create a bunch of frames here. And then I'm just going to animate on top of this to create this kind of guideline layer for the motion and I can adjust the opacity of that a little bit so it doesn't get in the way and maybe even the opacity of the whole room just a bit uh, and yes now I make a new layer and now I can pretty much pick another brush uh, I can animate on top of this little guide that I just created and mapped out the movement. Uh, so I go here and draw something new frame, draw some more. It's quite nice because it's pretty easy to just follow the movement and we'll have like a very natural feel to it. Oops, I messed that one up. Yeah, that's it. Oh, that was pretty quick. Um, so now I can go ahead, go back to my guide layer. I just hide it. Now I have this beautiful ball in my scene. Um, so, if I want to export this now, um, I can go to the transform menu here and I can reset the stage transform. Boom! Now it's original size again. And um, if I now go to the, the saving loading tab there's a lambic export so you can just export an lambic cache file and then use it in Maya or Houdini or Blender um, so if you and it will fit nicely with, with this model if you for example have this this room in Maya waiting uh, what else we got just gonna get rid of this there. Um, we also added left hand grab, so if you use the left trigger, uh, sorry, the left grip, you can just grab your drawing, you can just draw while you're rotating it, for example, which is nice to create like 3D shapes, see quickly from all, all sides. Um, yeah. Beautiful. Um, there's also an update to the anim brush. I'm just gonna create a few frames here. A few frames. So now if I play the back and I draw, uh, I can go into this menu. I can actually adjust the length of this brush. Uh, so I can make some cool, cool effects with that. Um, what else is new? There's a sharing tab now. You can record a GIF and post it directly to Twitter, and you can do the same with Sketchfab and upload your animation to Sketchfab, which is really cool. 
Maybe one important thing, if you export something to Maya, make sure that you set the same frame rate in Maya as you had here.